ready to step into the future. Oh, boom. This is the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. It's Nike's self-lacing shoe that marries my two passions, tech and sneakers. And yes, you can also call it a wearable. Now this is how it works. A sensor in the heel detects the position of your foot and weight on it inside the shoe. A lacing engine at the bottom of the shoe that's completely protected winds Nike's Flywire around your foot. It's called their fit system. Nike's Flywire is a thread composed of nylon and it's been used on other Nike shoes to minimize weight and maximize support. Now it's also being used in the Hyper Adapt 1.0. You might not realize it, but Nike has always been a tech company creating new materials and features for shoes like its most popular Nike Air and countless others. Now you can tighten the shoe by pressing the top button, and you can loosen it by pressing the lower one. You can also set a custom preset by pressing both buttons for the perfect tension that you want. The sensation of a shoe lacing on its own is just awesome. It's something that's never been done, and you know what? They're doing it. The HyperDaps 1.0 holds a two-week charge. You can check the battery status by pressing a button and it will glow different colors. And yes, there will always be a bit of reserve power left to get the shoes off if you're at the very end. Two charging pucks connect magnetically to the bottom of the shoe and will take you only three hours for a full charge. There's also some cool design elements and a story with these shoes thanks to Nike's legendary designer Tinker Hatfield. The shoe is named Earl, which stands for Electro Adaptive Reactive Lacing. They gave it a name in a nod to Pixar's Wally. Now the glowing middle is inspired by Eve from Wally, and the sole of the shoe is inspired by Wally's tire tread. The Hyper Adapts are lighter than you expect, that's really the first thing everyone says when they pick them up, and they're easily comfy enough to wear the whole day. These shoes aren't just to wear to show off, Nike says they've been tested for running, training, and even basketball. These are functional shoes and I'll have to put those to the test, but Nike isn't going to stop here and has plans to bring this technology to future shoes across their lineup. The Hyper Adapt 1.0s cost $720 before tax, and I know a lot of you have no desire to spend that much on a shoe. Nice. I can't nice. recommend that you go out and buy these, that's really for you to decide, yeah, they're, they're but I'm the guy who got the first iPod, iPhone, and iPad. I'm the early adopter, and this shoe is a first of its kind, and even if you don't want them, they just have that cool wow factor that makes them special.